With watercolor, you don't need as many brushes as you need with oil painting or acrylic painting. Your main workhorse in watercolor is your round brush. You want to find a round brush that has a nice tip on it, and then after you paint with it, the point comes back. You should be able to get a nice fine line, and you should be able to also get a thick line with your brush. That allows you to have more expressive brush strokes and, and then you don't need to change brushes as much. This brush is quite good. It's a synthetic, but it's a good quality synthetic. This is the same brush in a smaller size and once in a while you want to get more details. So it has the same properties as a large brush. You can get nice fine lines but you can also get fairly thick lines. It's always best to start with your biggest brush and then go down to your smaller brush. These are good quality synthetics and you want a nice round one like this. Traditionally, the best brush was a Kalinsky Sable and this is a Kalinsky, a Kalinsky Sable. Over time, they lose their ability to um, have a nice tip. So this tip isn't as nice as a synthetic, but it's pretty good. And then you can get your nice thick lines as well as your thin lines. <coughs> so you can see there's more versatility in the good quality synthetic than there is in uh, Kalinsky Sable. When it was new it was probably a bit better than that. This is a mid-size Klinsky Sable brush, so you can get quite a good line and then a nice wide line. So it has a good bounce and good expression. Other shapes that might be useful are the flat brush, such as this one. It's good to get nice washes and good This brush is called a needle nose and it's good if you have a lot of detail. You can get quite a fine and delicate line. It's different than just a fine brush because it has a thick base and then there's the hairs taper off to quite a fine needle point. So if you're doing a lot of detail then I totally recommend the needle point brush. This is a student quality brush, it just cost a few dollars. It's not too bad. There you have your thin line and thick line. It's not as good and you might find it a bit frustrating. So if you can afford a good qual the best quality synthetic, that's what I recommend. It's important to always rinse out your brushes and hang them upside down to dry. You don't want to keep them in a jar like this to dry because then the water sinks into here and then your your handle might split. So, so hang up your brushes like this until they're completely dry and then store them flat. You never want to keep your brush in a water for too long because you're, you'll bend the tip of your brush. So you have to take good care of your brushes and then they'll last longer. Once you buy a watercolor brush, never use it for another kind of paint. Don't use it for acrylic or oil. Just use it for watercolor. <laughs>